Welcome back, guys. For the final time for the pre-release kits uh, for Battle for Zendikar, welcome back. I have not mentioned yet because I am a terrible person. Uh, I have Dave and Amy here with me. They have been here with me for all five of these openings. Dave is on the camera. Amy is here providing support. She opened her own box, as you guys saw. Once again, those were not my hands. Uh, so thank you to both of them for doing that with me. Uh, if you guys want to hear their voices more, once again, check out our podcast. Uh, we are looking for the blue die. Let's check that out first. It's the only one we don't have yet. Do we get it? You guys will see it at the same time as I do. We do not. We get the black die again. So we have two black, two red. I'll pull them forward so you guys can see them. We have two black, two red, a white, and a green. Uh, I mentioned earlier I traded a green one for this white one. So technically we should have two green, two red, two black, but I was able to trade a green for a white. Uh, maybe I can get rid of this black and or red for the blue and we can have all five, but this is what we ended up with for the D20s. Again, those matter to us a little bit more here because of the other videos that are on this channel right now that are not magic related. Definitely, as I said, go check those out. For now, we're going to check out what else we have here? Still looking for Expedition cards. Here's the Ugin Separator that we always have. Our promo foil for this pre-release kit is the Ally Encampment. So once again, as always, I'm gonna keep it sealed, uh, but we have an Ally Encampment. It is a land, a rare land, one that we have not seen yet. So once again, always a fan of cards that we don't have yet. It's not a Mythic, but I will live. It's not an Expedition, but I'll live. Uh, so we have that as well. We'll leave those on the side. Getting to the packs here. Last pre-release kit. Let's make it a good one. Uh, let's see what we get out of this one. Swarm Surge is the first card. Tajuru Stalwart. Incubator Drone. Culling Drone. Inspired Charge. Reckless Cohort. Felidar Cub. When Amy opened her box, she got two Felidar Cubs. I called them Feldar Cubs because that little eye was hiding there. But it is a Felidar Cub. Valakut Invoker. Ondu Great Horn. Dominator Drone. Sky Rider Elf. That card is so cool. Uh, it is an elf riding a Sky Manta. It is a flying fish, uh, and the Manta is in the set somewhere. I don't know that we've seen it yet from our pre-release kits, but this is an Elf Warrior ally riding a flying Manta, which is awesome. Retreat to Emeria, another retreat, another one of the retreat cards. We've been getting those in almost all of the boxes. We have a Halimar Tide Collar, uh, which is great art, um, and our first rare Mythic of the Box not counting our promo foil, is a Canopy Vista. Between Amy and I, we now have three of these, because I got one in one of the other boxes. But a Canopy Vista, it's a dual land, it's a forest plains. There you go. Full Art Island, my favorite island art. And an Octopus token. Next pack has Kiora on it. Uh, we do have... I was about to say I don't have any Planeswalkers yet, but then I forgot about... Obnixilis. So I did get Obnixilis. I do have him. Uh, there are two other Planeswalkers in the set in Kiora, which was on that pack, and Gideon, which is on our next pack. Uh, let's see if we can get maybe one of those coming up soon. Seek the Wilds. Coral Helm Guide. Nirkana Assassin. Boiling Earth. Lithomancer's Focus. Rush of Ice. Frosty's favorite card of the set. Natural Connection. Unnatural Aggression. That is the second time that has happened. Natural Connection, Unnatural Aggression, one right after the other. Geyser Field Stalker. I think that I have not seen this card yet. It looks weird and gross, uh, but Geyser Field Stalker. Here it is, the Cloud Manta. I was just talking about you, buddy. He's a flying fish. Uh, it's the one that the Elf Warrior was riding in this picture. I don't know that it's the exact same actual Manta, but it looks like it's the same species. Uh, 
So there you go, a Cloud Manta in the box. Uh, our first uncommon is the Expedition Envoy. Tide Drifter. This card was pretty annoying during pre-release for me today. It's a great card, though. I just didn't have it. Uh, retreat to Hagra, so another retreat. And uh, the rare or mythic from this pack is Conduit of Ruin. We got one of these in one of the other boxes. Planes and an Obnixilis Emblem. So we got, Amy and I both got the Gideon Emblems. We now have the Obnixilis Emblem. I think we're still looking for the Kiora Emblem. So there you go. Let's see if maybe we can get a Kiora Emblem coming up soon as well. This pack opened weirdly, but it's open nonetheless. We have Dispel. That card looks great. Dispel, I think, I feel like always has really great art, really colorful art. But Dispel, because it is a reprint, obviously. Calastria Nightwatch. Earthen Arms. That card, the look of that card is great. Because that guy just, although to be fair, it's called Earthen Arms, and he also has Earthen Legs. Uh, but I think I'm just being picky, so... Kite Sail Scout. Reckless Cohort. Spell Shrivel. Complete Disregard. I talked about this card earlier, but that uh, that art is sad. That guy is just calling out for help and no one's coming. Scour from Existence. Here's another uh, example of somebody reaching their hand out and just getting nothing from it, uh, as this person is literally being torn from existence. So we've got one of those. Uh, we've got the Tajuru Beastmaster. Wave Wing Elemental. From what I've seen, I think Dave's favorite card of the set is Wave Wing Elemental. Love it. <laughs> uh, we have the Tunneling Geopede as our first uncommon. Our second is Vampiric Rites. Uh, again, with all the hands kind of ripping at the vampire, it looks really awesome. The third uncommon is another retreat to Emeria. I think we got that one in this. Yes, we did. We got one in one of the last packs here as well. So that's a second retreat to, Amir to Emeria. Uh, if we were playing allies, this would be a great card. Our rare or mythic is Prism Array. <sighs> Not what you want to see uh, by far, uh, in my opinion. And I haven't necessarily seen every card in the set, but one of, if not the worst rare in the set. Uh, the art looks cool, and it's got the Wooburg ability of all five colors, and I've always liked that. Uh, but this card just does not do it for me. Full Art Forest looks really nice, and a core ally token. So we've got those. We are halfway through this box. Let's get something to make up for that Prism Array in this pack. It's one of the other two packs after it. Let's see. Incubator Drone, Calastria Healer, Reclaiming Vines, Reckless Cohort, Jesus, we got Reckless Cohorts everywhere in this box, Skyline Cascade, Eyeless Watcher, Rush of Ice, there you go Frosty, Silent Skimmer, Mortuary Mire, Processor Assault, Hagra Sharpshooter, I saw this card for the first time earlier. I really do like this art of her hiding from that Eldrazi. Uh, we have Infuse with Elements. I have not seen this card before either. That card looks really interesting. Uh, it looks like it is a uh, green elemental walking through magma, at least as magma is like spraying at him, uh, which looks interesting. I'm curious about the story of that. And our rare or mythic is Dust Stalker. That card looks awesome. Uh, he's got a lot of bony um, kind of armor all over him. The Eldrazi have that in this set. We have a Foil Retreat to Coral Helm. So I feel like a lot of the foils we've gotten recently are uncommon, which is really nice. I mean, Foil Rares would be better. Amy got one of those. But Foil Uncommons are great. Usually you get Foil Commons. So Retreat to Coral Helm, a Full Art Mountain, and an Eldrazi Scion Token. I usually jinx myself when I say it, but I'm pretty sure in the last box or two, we have not gotten a single um, ad card. I have so far opened, this is my third one from this session, and I have so far only thrown one ad card across the table onto the floor. So, Plummet is the first card in this 
pack. Coral Helm Guide. Myers Malice. Tajuru Stalwart. Lava Step Raider. McKindy Patrol. Kozilek's Sentinel. Card looks weird. Really, really weird looking card. Uh, it's got like a mouth, but it's got four hands, but it's got two other hands down here. Just a weird card. Stone Fury. Whoops. Andu Great Horn. I kind of showed it to you a little, but Life Spring Druid. It's a great card. Forerunner of Slaughter. Another one of the colorful cards for a devoid of color card. Pilgrim's Eye. Blighted Cataract. Another blighted uncommon land. Ally Encampment. So we got this as a promo in this box, and now we have it non-promo as well. So yeah, if we're playing allies, this would be the box to do it in, apparently. We got a full art swamp and an elemental token. Our last pack of the box, our last pack for any pre-release kits of Battle for Zendikar. It's been a blast for me. I'm looking forward to opening those booster boxes for you guys as well, for myself also, selfishly. Uh, let's see what we get. Seek the Wilds. Coral Helm Guide. Nirkana Assassin. Orin Reef Invoker. Tandem Tactics. Out Number. McKindy Slide Runner. Courier Griffin. Smite the Monstrous. Stone Fury. Grip of Desolation. This card did work against me today in the pre-release. The art looks awesome as the Eldrazi is just grabbing onto what might be an angel? I can't quite tell, but it looks like he's grabbing an angel and just ruining it. Uh, turning it to dust. There's feathers, what looks like feathers flying everywhere, or just dust that it's turning it into. Card looks awesome. Card is awesome. Uh, so we have Grip of Desolation. We have Undo Rising. We have Blighted Step. I think we have not... I have not seen a Blighted Step yet. I've seen a lot of the Blighted ones. Blighted Fens, of course. And our last Rare or Mythic for any of the pre-release kits, for this particular pre-release kit, let's see what we get. It is... Shrine of the Forsaken Gods. This is a card that I have not seen yet, so that's nice. Can't tell you whether it's playable or not, because I am not familiar with the card yet. New set. Uh, but here it is. Shrine of the Forsaken Gods. It is a land. It's a rare land. Uh, apparently, again, we get another pre-release kit with rare lands aplenty. Full Art Swamp. Core Ally Token. No add cards in this box again. Uh, so as I did in one previous box, I will leave you looking at three of our foil or one foil, but three of our rare lands, two of which are the same. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned. Check out Team Titty Sprinkles in the Fate of Delmark, uh, also on this channel. I'll link it uh, probably in a little uh, annotation. Let's see how good I am. Here? Uh, and so you guys should go check that out. And uh, I'll leave you with this image. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will catch you all in the next video.